Hi everyone, I'm Emily. I'm the Urban and Public Affairs Librarian at Portland State University Library. Um, these are definitely interesting times that we're living in. As you can tell, I've gone really casual wearing my Grinderman t-shirt and I'm in my home office. I hope you all are taking care of your families, yourself, um, and trying to stay healthy as much as possible. So I wanted to point out that I've created a course guide to help you with your city project for your class, Introduction to Urban Studies. And on the course guide, there's a bunch of information that could be really helpful. When this class happens in person, I typically come and have a session with you all in your class to make sure that you understand how to choose quality academic sources and quality news sources. This guide, I hope, will serve in lieu of that. So on the guide, you have several tabs up at the top. The Community Research tab points out um, databases that you have access to as a student to find demographic information or information about a particular community. There's a video about using Social Explorer to find data. There's also a four-step guide to community profile reports in a tool called Policy Map. They are both really helpful for you in terms of gathering data and necessary information about the cities you are going to be exploring. The other thing that I'll say about this city project is that last year when students were working on this, if they chose a city that wasn't in the United States, it was a lot harder to find data and information sources. So when you choose your city, that might be something that you take into consideration. The Scholarly Sources tab of the course guide has uh, some instructional videos about how to choose peer-reviewed articles or scholarly, ar scholarly articles, but it also links to an urban studies database, which um, is a database that has scholarly articles that are written from an urban studies perspective. You'll also see information on that page about how you might create a research question and move it into a search strategy. On the News and Other Sources page, You'll notice that I've included a video on how to evaluate websites. And also there are some links to uh, some library subscribed newspaper databases. Those newspaper databases can be really helpful for determining sources um, that aren't necessarily scholarly articles, but are still pretty relevant. I would like to point out specifically Ethnic News Watch. Ethnic Newswatch includes um, smaller community newspapers and it provides full text in both English and Spanish. These are community publications and maybe not like the big shots of newspapers, so that could be really useful for understanding particular communities in your cities. The Evaluating Charts, Graphs, and Statistics page could be fun and interesting. It's not as pertinent to uh, the assignment for the remote-only class, but um, some of these TED-Ed talks are pretty interesting, and I know that when I watched these videos, um, I learned a lot myself. And then finally, there's a Citing Sources page. And this page includes an, uh, a video, which is one of my favorite videos that we have here um, from the library. It features His Majesty Prince, Frank Ocean, Rihanna, some other really cool musicians. It also links to online citation guides and assistance in that way. And the Get Help page has information about how you can get help from the library when you need it. You can always chat with us 24-7. Uh, you can fill out the email web form, and my email address is also on that page. Please don't hesitate to email me your questions. It might take me a few days to get back to you, so if you plan ahead um, and you need help with your research, I'm more than happy to do that. If push comes to shove, too, I, can, I am still doing office hours over Zoom, so let me know if I can help you in that way. Good luck with your city projects!